Hey, welcome to the channel. If you've seen me before, welcome back to the channel. I hope I can continue to bring more value to you. And in this video, I have an exercise that I do to get better looking quads, inner thighs, glutes, and hips. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the big piece of this exercise, as well as one little thing that I add to make things a little bit more interesting, but get a lot more gains with it. So let's get started. So this exercise does require a dumbbell, so get yourself a dumbbell first. Now when it comes to holding that dumbbell, you wanna be holding it from one side of the dumbbell with your palms facing up or in the sky. And then when it comes to your forearms, you wanna grab the opposite end of that dumbbell so that way when you're doing this exercise, the weight or the dumbbell is not moving around. As far as your feet, make sure they're hip width apart and your toes pointed slightly outward. Next, you're gonna take in a big side step or side lunge. Just make sure when you do this, it's a big enough step to the point where that opposite leg is straight because that's where your inner thighs are gonna be working and the more straight that leg is, the more your inner thighs are gonna be working. Now, with that opposite leg, that's where your quads, your outer hip muscles and glutes are gonna be working more. Now, with that big side step, make sure both feet are on the ground for safety and stability reasons. Um, for example, with that leg that's straight, naturally because you're going to the side, your foot is going to want to rise up and when it comes to your ankle, that's not the best of things because when it comes to the eversion or inversion or AKA tilting your foot in and out, there's not a lot of range of motion for your ankle or your foot in that position. So keeping that foot on the ground is gonna be safe and better for your ankle. Now with that leg that you're stepping to the side with, you wanna make sure your feet is on the ground for that because you're more stable in that position rather than your heel off the ground. Now when you're pushing off to go back up standing, you wanna make sure you're pushing off from your heel and not the um, ball of your foot or your toes. Again, just for stability and safety reasons. When it comes to your back, make sure it's all in one line. Don't round your shoulders. Now, in the beginning of this video, I did mention about this one thing that I added to make a lot more gains during this exercise, and that's by adding a goblet squat. Now you can do this squat with a wide stance or narrow stance after you return to your starting position. Now when you do a wide stance, that's gonna be accentuating more of your hip muscles and glutes. If you do a narrow stance, it's going to be accentuating more of the quads. And that's what it comes down to in building muscle. You gotta be doing the most. And doing the most is about giving your body reasons to build muscle. And that's by making things difficult and not easy. So keep that in mind. Now, if you're getting value out of this video, please subscribe, turn on that bell, leave a comment down below. Because here on this channel, we try to empower people at home and nutrition and at the gym with the goal of building muscle. So if you like that, again, please subscribe, turn on that bell and leave a comment down below. And always remember to make mirrors your canvas, waste your paintbrush, sweat your paint, and may your drawing always be beautifully unfinished.